Welcome again viewers, still in Las Palmas, Old Town, Gran Canaria, it is lovely here, let's take a walk down here, check out some of the buildings here but they're very impressive aren't they? Cathedral just over there as well, bells have just went, it's just after 4 o'clock, it's about 27 degrees I think, another beautiful building there, we're going to walk by some bars and restaurants and some shops in a wee minute. So many places I've not been in. Don't think we've gone there, viewers. Let's go down this way. Quite a lot to see in Las Palmas if you're coming for a day. If you like walking, like me in these videos, um, you're going to find a lot of stuff in Las Palmas, definitely. And you're going to find it so different from everywhere else you've been in Gran Canaria. Lovely wee bar in there. I need to get to a bank. I cannot believe I've got no money on me now. Um, I don't like walking about with no money, even though most places except car, there is some that don't. So it's a real pain. I just prefer to have money on me. So I need to get to a cash machine quickly. And I need to probably get cards sorted out for next time. Revolut cards and all that sort of stuff. I know a lot of viewers have got them. And the Starling cards as well. Little boutique in the old town. How nice is it in there? Miriam shop, a clock shop, jewellery as well, and a wee bit of history. This obviously must date back many, many years, eh? Okay, if your Spanish is good, you'd have read that. So, I think this is a theatre building on the left hand side as well, which Surprisingly enough, there's another beautiful building in Las Palmas. We restaurant there, I've just done a video walking by that the other day. We're going to walk down this street in a minute, viewers. We'll see what we find, okay? Stay with me. Watch till the end, there might be a wee surprise, who knows? I don't know because I've not been down there yet. <laughs> so, yeah, another nice building. Let's head down this way. We tapas place here, there's so many tapas places. See some of the stuff up the menu there as well. Let's continue, that's a nice shop front, bright red, isn't it? Seems very noisy in there, is it very busy? Yep. It is, as we say in Scotland, mobbed. Very nice in there. What's the name of it in case you want to Google Maps it if you're coming here? There we go. Don't think they've got a um, menu I'm afraid. I can't tell you what they do. They do a lot of bottles of wine, I can tell you that. Oh look, there's the spirits up there as well. How nice. Tricolo, is that what it's called? This one here. Busy as well. Goes all the way around the side. See a variety of dishes here, large dishes and small dishes for the tapas as well. Another wee nice side street down there also. Let's continue. This one's also popular. Look, we've also got inside seating as well with people busy. What's the prices like, viewers? You'll notice there's no catering for UK menus here. Most of the time it's in Spanish. It's a proper Spanish city. They're not really geared towards getting the tourists really from the UK. Um, they're busy enough without that, they don't need it. Hamburger, 12 euros. Doesn't seem too bad, does it? There is a restaurant around the corner. More like a cafeteria, but it's a kind of restaurant around the corner from my hotel. It's got hamburgers for two euros seventy-five, and sandwiches for under a euro. You'll see that in the channel at one point. Look how nice it is in there. It's gonna be private dining room in there. So there's a big variety of prices here. Check these balconies. Beautiful. Oh, 
lots of wee inn shops here. Looks like you've got a butchers, like greengrocers, a few other places here as well. Now I've not been up this street yet, so I don't really know what's up here. Let's have a wander up and see what's here, viewers. Another interesting street in Las Palmas. Check out the menus I've got on the side here. Interesting, it's called La Barberia, I think it's called. It's very busy, actually. Long tables and groups. A lot of people like to see the menus. I'll we'll try and see if we can show you a wee bit of the menu. Prawn salad. No prices this one, mind you. Well, there's a few prices there. Four euros twenty. We've got set menus over there as well. Probably about quarter past four just now. In between lunch and dinner, really. Here is another set menu. Eleven euros. We look saw that. We've got Dorada Especial in there, that's the kind of stronger Dorada. I'm not that keen on it actually, I prefer the Estrella Galicia. Everybody's got different tastes, haven't they? Let's see if we can like, look at the menu here, what the price is like. Oh, remember I was saying they don't cater to UK? Look, this one has got a UK. So they've got tapas here, all those bigger dishes. Canadian potatoes, 5 95 Canadian cheese. We've also got stuff to share as well. Chickpea, ten euro ninety five. Scrambled eggs, sausage, burgers, twelve euros. Okay. New restaurant in there. Here's another place doing tapas. Stretch all the way along here. Looks up. Okay, so it tells you what they do. But there's no prices here, but there is a price here. So they are. Catering more in this street, it's more maybe of a tourist street. They have got UK menus here as well. Right, it's very small here, I don't know if you ever see it. Southern steak, 17 euros 90. Lasagna, 990. It's not bad, is it? It's not too bad at all. Spaghetti, 1190. They've got a small menu there as well, it's called a menu baby. Look how nice this wee place is. Character, isn't it? This building's nice, isn't it? Come up here. Random Yamaha shop in the middle of the restaurants. <laughs> nice. Do pa uh, paella here as well. Quite a few people in the channel say they like paella. This place here. So it's a bistro. We've got some old pictures up here as well. See, the sign up there, 50th anniversary in 2013. So, this obviously has been here for a number of years, well established. Let's continue, viewers. If you're still watching this, you are a superstar, thanks very much. If you're new to the channel, hope you're enjoying the videos in Gran Canaria, do me a wee favour, but it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost any, hit the wee subscribe button and uh, give it a wee thumbs up as well. Let's continue to rent here, Let's see what else is here. Place for rent there, they've not survived. You want to be down the bottom end of this strip, end the looks of it. This is a bit tricky to survive up here. Here's another menu with prices, viewers. Let's check out the prices are they shocking or affordable how expensive is it it's pretty affordable I'd say as well to be honest there's nothing outrageous is it it's pretty affordable potatoes from 5.50 gluten free all my viewers are gluten free there you go No idea what's around the corner here. I'm going to go left or right. No idea what's around the corner. Random supermarket on the right hand side there. Sounds as if there's a busy main road round there. That's correct, it is. 
the busy main road. Quite a lot of statues in Las Palmas I've noticed as well. Beautiful street up here towards the cathedral. And a wee bit more of old town up there. I don't really know what's up there to be honest with you. Um, but a lovely place. Thanks for watching viewers. I really appreciate all your support. Thanks so much. I um, hope you've enjoyed the videos on Las Palmas. It's done quite a lot actually in the old town. It's a lot more spread out and bigger than I imagined. And it seems very affordable. I found cheaper restaurants than the ones I've showed you there. You'll see them in other videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, give a wee subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.